quickly showing the a typical layout which is showing all of the components of a biogas plant so we will start with the digester there are pre digester there are digester based on the size of your plant then there is draining of water after digestion digestate and this drained water is taken in a tanker and taken to the grass fields then we have fire safety tank and some those kind of things water storage basically then there is a electrical panel room spares storage restroom a small office kind of thing then if there is a excess gas which get produced there is a flaring unit where the gas is burnt because it is extremely costly to store the gas because each cylinder is costing more than 25-30,000 rupees so it does not make sense to store the gas economical sense it will not make so we will have to burn any extra production mainly this burning happens because of a bad design of the plant so if all of the equipments the line balancing has been cleverly and scientifically planned then the burning of the gas can be avoided so there are i know few of the companies who burn the gas almost every day or weekly twice thrice because of the overproduction it is not because of the overproduction it is definitely because of the bad planning and bad line balancing so um, the industrial engineering will come into picture here so all of those equipment capacities uh, intermittent storages those things have to be adjusted very well so that uh, there is no excess there is no shortage so there is a key point in the design of the plant then there are storages then there is purification uh, shed which is typically are made of a steel and there is a compression there should be a separate shed with a different color marking so this is how the uh, typical biogas plants will look and this is the basic setup and this you are seeing uh, for about uh, this can produce about 15,000 kg per day that is 15 ton and uh, area utilized is about uh, three and a half to four acre this is one thing i want to show secondly uh, something called pnid which is uh, uh, industrial kind of design for a easy recognition and troubleshooting purpose so this is part of the biogas and any other equipment design also so there is a napier glass there is a shredder which is gets into pre-digester this pre-digester continuously uh, agitated then going to the digester and from there it goes to a blower it is going to a scrubber whatever uh, you have the output is going to the fertilizer trucks so this scrubber there is a you know, gas dryer uh, then there is a raw, raw gas storage the flaring unit excess uh, storage excess burn then there is uh, tanks which are storing purified gases then carbon dioxide being sucked by the vacuum so this can be again sold or um, re further purified if you have a customer or else it is left as it is then CH4 can go towards the grid so CO2 plus CH4 or if you have an in-house use you can use it um, then on there is a compressor uh, mechanical or hydraulic then there is a oil separation from the gas this is how things are interlinked so, grass harvesting storage shredding pre-digestion dig uh, anaerobic digestion scrubbing pressure regulation ch4 supply storage flaring that's it 
So this is at the proposal level. So when it comes to real design, uh, you will find all of the equipment, the values of these, everything will be there. So whenever our supervisor, maintenance technician want to refer something, you will go to this drawing, which is called PNID diagram, and he will be able to maintain the plant. So if you are going for any other constructor or technology provider also, make sure that this PNID diagram is properly prepared and taken so that in the future, if at all the your PC contractor or the technology provider uh, walk away or do not give a required service, then with this, any other engineer also will be able to make out what is happening. Otherwise, it is very difficult. So insist on uh, such diagrams uh, in all the cases.